what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology today we will discuss on another very important concept on the basics of astrology and today's topic is one of the most important topics apart from conjunctions and different videos which i have discussed so far if you have not watched go and watch them otherwise you may not understand what i am talking here it may appear alien to you if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and watch it till the end and if you have any questions queries or comments related to any other video in my channel then please let me know in the comments or any other video that you want me to make then also let me know in the comments there you go dispositor dispositor and dispositor it is very important to discuss about dispositors what is a dispositor who disposits where whom how <laughs> and as is usual before beginning i i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you find the right dispositors <laughs> well what is a dispositor dispositor is the concept in astrology which tells us where the lord of a particular planet the sign where it is sitting where is that planet sitting you didn't understand i will explain it to you for example in any horoscope if moon is sitting in the sign of cancer bad example <laughs> this will confuse you <laughs> if moon is sitting in the sign of taurus then who is the sign lord of taurus jupiter right no it's venus see i'm confusing you <laughs> i'm in the full mood of confusion today i will keep confusing you in between to test you how much you know <laughs> all right now suppose moon is sitting in the sign of taurus and taurus as we all know is the original second house of the zodiac belt which is ruled by the planet venus the planet of love romance beauty sexuality etc therefore venus is the dispositor of moon what if jupiter is sitting in the sign of scorpio then who is the dispositor of jupiter it is the planet mars because scorpio is ruled by mars there you go now do you understand what is the meaning of dispositor it is very important that when we are continuing our analysis of the horoscope of particular planets and conjunctions and aspects we also see what is the situation of their dispositor otherwise we will not be able to understand what exactly is happening yes let me give you an example suppose venus is exalted in the sign of pisces all right but if jupiter who is the dispositor of venus because jupiter rules the sign of pisces is debilitated in the sign of capricorn then i will tell you what will happen see what is the meaning of an exalted venus i will discuss about exaltations of planets and what is the meaning of their secrets actually some other time but here generally an exalted venus means that the person whenever it comes to love romance and relationships is very selfless is very much devoted is very much giving is very much forgiving all the benevolent traits are there in the person because pisces is the sign of abundance the person lets the other person free he or she doesn't try to control the person now these are typical traits of an exalted venus venus exalted also means that the person might not get fulfillment of marriage and relationships through the physical comforts through sexuality through physical intimacy through staying together with his spouse because from mudrikon sign of venus which is libra pisces comes in the 6th house i have discussed about this in one of my recent video so please go and watch it that means venus exalted is an indication that you have performed many many good deeds related to venus women or about luxuries donating things related to venus and in this life you will have to pursue the spiritual path that doesn't mean you have to 
follow celibacy or you have to not marry it simply means that apart from your marital duties you also have to speak divine uh, seek divine wisdom in god because there is where you will find fulfillment wherever where, whichever sign a planet is sitting it finds fulfillment there yes that's the secret of planet right so that's why the problem with debilitation is if moon is sitting in the sign of scorpio it is debilitated but the person finds lot of fulfillment from scorpio traits that is what unpredictable behavior number one trait etc so now if venus is exalted but suppose jupiter the dispositor of venus is not in a great dignity suppose it is in a sign like capricorn or aquarius or virgo to be honest i have seen worse results in capricorn and aquarius even aquarius is more worse for jupiter because capricorn gives you obsession regarding work 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 it tells you that god doesn't exist you can do whatever you want by your actions by your hands you can change your destiny you don't need god <laughs> that is why jupiter is debilitated in the sign of capricorn jupiter and capricorn people are too much hopeful about this material world they think that they can achieve anything without the acknowledgement of the supreme authority because capricorn is the sign of karma yes therefore capricorn is the debilitation of jupiter and along with that aquarius has co ruler of co rulership of rahu along with saturn which is actually even worse because aquarius is an air sign which is all about enjoyment mundane enjoyment and it is ruled by rahu so these people are too skeptical so if venus is exalted that means the person has the capacity within himself or herself to find fulfillment in spirituality through venus but if jupiter is debilitated which means the dispositor of venus is not very well placed then what will happen is when they try to go towards spirituality they will encounter difficulties especially if jupiter is in the sign of aquarius the person will encounter doubts because rahu signifies doubts yes now let's take the opposite side if jupiter is in the sign of capricorn then it is considered to be debilitated yes and what if saturn why saturn because capricorn is ruled by saturn and then saturn becomes the dispositor of jupiter so now if saturn is placed in its exaltation in the sign of libra then then what then jupiter is still better there because the person will at least be able to work <laughs> jupiter is better doesn't mean that jupiter on a spiritual sense it is better but at least the person can do some spiritual activities by which he can understand that god exists or maybe there's some spiritual wisdom because the sign where jupiter is sitting that is in its highest dignity do you understand but that doesn't mean jupiter has become exalted or jupiter's dignity has risen very much because jupiter is ultimately debilitated jupiter's effect in capricorn will not be altered even if saturn is exalted do you understand <laughs> people say okay if the dispositor of an debilitated planet is exalted then the debilitation of that planet in that sign is cancelled no that's not true well if that would be true then things would be different but that is not true there is a concept of niche bhang raj yoga that's a different concept what i am saying here just because venus is in pisces and jupiter is Uh, sorry if venus is in uh, virgo where it's debilitated and suppose mercury is in a good place that does not mean that the debility of venus is cancelled but it simply means that the area of virgo is now a bit strong area of virgo means mercury is strong in the chart therefore venus can relatively function better because the house where it is sitting that house is strong because you know how much a house is strong or weak by knowing the situation of the lord the lord will tell you how the house is 
for example if seventh lord in any horoscope which signifies marriage and the dimension of the marriage if the seventh lord is very well placed if it is exalted or it is in a kendra or a trikon or in a relatively good dignity in the kendra trikon then what happens then the person has a higher capacity to maintain the marriage in a long term even if there is a terrible planet like mars which is sitting there in the seventh house even if mars is sitting there even if saturn is sitting even if rahu ketu or sun any five of the malefics if they are sitting in a house especially in the seventh house they cannot destroy the marriage unless the dispositor of the seventh house that is the seventh lord is also terribly spoiled very badly spoiled it's very badly afflicted because see what happens if there are bad planets bad in the sense not bad i would say bad for that chart which means if the 6th lord is placed in the 7th house or if the 8th lord is placed or if the 12th lord is placed these are considered difficult planets for that chart so if bad planets for that horoscope for that lagna is sitting in the 7th house then if the then how, what does it mean when a difficult planet is sitting there see 6th lord sitting in the 7th house what it means 6th house is the house of quarrel disputes it is the house of celibacy it's the house of purity it's the house of divorce it's the house of courts law justice all these enemies yes that is the 6th house so when that house ruler is sitting in the 7th house what it means now the 6th lord has an agenda wherever it goes see just see it like that suppose there's a room you go and unlock the room and you open the door and you see that there's a person sitting there so here if you go and open the 7th house you see okay the 6th lord is sitting what does it mean it means that wherever the 6th lord is going it is taking its agenda there <laughs> and what is its agenda its agenda is to give you quarrels and difficulties that's the 6th house your prarabdha karma that is 6th house so then if it is sitting in the house of marriage what does it mean that the lord of quarrel is coming into the house of marriage do you understand <laughs> because the moment you check the 7th house you see oh there's a person sitting here that means this person will always come and quarrel in that house because wherever sixth lord goes it will quarrel yes that means when sixth lord is in the seventh house there can be a lot of quarrels and arguments within the marriage but <laughs> suppose you are the seventh house think like that forget you are lagna forget fifth house ninth house forget all this suppose you are a person who is owning the seventh house suppose for the time being forget that you are the lagna suppose you are the seventh house now if you are owning that house all right and you are in a good place yes if you are relatively in a good place but suppose there's a terrible person sitting at your home <laughs> still he cannot do anything to your home unless you yourself become weak or if i would put it this way your strength has to be more than the strength of that terrible planet which is sitting there for example if suppose say sun is sitting there in the seventh house in any horoscope and then suppose sun is sitting in the sign of taurus for for example but then if venus that means you are a scorpio ascendant because for scorpio ascendant taurus is in the which house taurus is in the 7th house that means now sun is in the sign of taurus which is supposedly not a great planet to be in the 7th house because it is a fiery planet fire extinguishes the water now suppose venus is exalted in the sign of pisces for scorpio ascendant in the 5th house because for scorpio pisces is in the 5th house 
and Cancer is in the ninth house. It's the same sign in the trikon. So now if Venus is exalted, that means what? The ability of that house to function is in the highest state. That means even if sun is sitting there, there can be ego battles and ego tussles. But because the dispositor is strong, that means even if there is traits related to the sun, which is hampering the marriage, but the marriage will not break, it will sustain. Do you understand? Now let me give you another example. <clears throat> if suppose somebody has a beautiful planet, suppose I exalted Venus in the seventh house, for example. Suppose somebody is a Virgo ascendant and he has an exalted Venus because for Virgo Pisces is in the seventh house and Venus is also a natural benefit. So if there is an exalted Venus in the seventh house but somehow Jupiter is not very well placed. <laughs> Jupiter is debilitated in the sign of Capricorn. If Jupiter is debilitated in the sign of Capricorn, then what will happen? See, when you go to the seventh house, suppose you are the seventh house, now you're opening the door, you see, okay, somebody is sitting there. Who is sitting? Oh my God, exalted Venus is sitting. It will give me great things. But if you yourself are diseased, you are the Lord. You are the dispositor of the house. Suppose you yourself, you are diseased. You are coughing, you are about to die <laughs> or you are sitting with planets like Rahu or Ketu or any other fiery planet. Then it is like saying you have a million dollar home, million dollar home means now an exalted Venus is coming and beautifying your home. It is giving you so many things, it is giving you a lot of blessings. But if you as a person, you are dead. Dead means you are in a difficult sign or in a difficult house or with enemies. Then what will happen is, even if there is an exalted planet or a beautiful planet there in the seventh house, the marriage cannot sustain. Or sustain doesn't mean that there will be a divorce. It simply means that there will the difficulties which the person will encounter in executing his marital duties will be much much more higher. Do you understand that? So having a difficult planet in the seventh house and having the seventh lord in a good dignity is better than having a beautiful planet in the seventh house and the seventh lord getting spoiled or smashed or ditched as you call these days. <laughs> and also that is true because ultimately you are what the house is because the house belongs to you if if somebody dies suppose there's a person who dies tomorrow then what is the use of the property <laughs> suppose there's a exalted moon sitting there you're a scorpio ascendant and there's an exalted moon in your seventh house because for scorpio moon taurus is the seventh house so if moon is there it will be exalted you may get if if, if it is a man's chart then you may get a very beautiful wife, exalted moon in the seventh house. Do not take this as a blind dictum, but I am just giving some standard dummy ideas to understand so that you understand the concept of disp dispositors. But uh, suppose you get a very beautiful wife, somebody like Lady Diana or Ashwarya Rai or Angelina Jolie. Suppose I am just giving an example. But suppose Venus is debilitated then what will happen is you may have the best wife the best loving wife the most beautiful wife the most caring perhaps the best wife but you will still not be able to stay with her because your attitude towards the marriage is not correct when the seventh lord is debilitated that shows your capacity to sustain the relationship is in doldrums so even if you get the best wife, it will be difficult. Now you take another example. Suppose there's a planet like Mars which is sitting there, which is considered to be Manglik Dosha as per astrology. 
forget all this manglik and all these factors i'll make a video on manglik later suppose mars is sitting it is a planet of fire agni tattva so agni has the power to burn off emotions that is the problem but mars is sitting in the seventh house in any sign forget about the sign but suppose the seventh lord is exalted or it is with friends or in a great house like the ninth house or the fifth house then what will happen is there will be a lot of power struggles he will say no no i will do this then she will say no no i, I want this but because the seventh lord is exalted the dispositor of mars is exalted or it is in its own sign or it is in multricorn own sign means <coughs> it has to sit in that house itself then what will happen mars will give its natural effects you cannot evade that you simply cannot evade that but still the relationship may sustain depending on the other factors of course because your attitude towards the marriage now is okay whatever happens i will not let this relationship go away i will always try my best to keep this relationship there you see therefore the dispositor is very important to understand without that we cannot make predictions because whenever we go to somebody's home when a planet is in a particular house suppose jupiter is in the ninth house in the sign of scorpio suppose <laughs> then if the owner of the house is dead owner means if mars is dead dead means it is it is in cancer in debility or some other terrible sign maybe it is in the sign of pisces also <laughs> or maybe it is in the sign of mercury especially mars is very difficult in signs of mercury then what will happen it is like you are going to your best friend's house jupiter exalted in the ninth house in cancer it means jupiter is in the best possible dignity you have gone to your best friend's house it is such a great friend no it is such a great friend suppose jupiter is exalted in the ninth house then you take the moon in moon because cancer is ruled by moon then if moon is debilitated in scorpio then it is like you have gone to the house of a person who is dead <laughs> then how much will you beautify the room how much you will will you uh, try to improve the situation of the room it simply will not have much results therefore whenever we take spiritual pursuits or we check the spiritual potential in a person then the first thing we have to do is we have to check the position of the ninth lord and the situation of jupiter here because that will tell us how the overall thing will happen and also planet sitting in the ninth house has the power to alter the results suppose ninth house has great planets and the ninth lord is also great greatly placed fabulous mind blowing this is perhaps the best thing that can happen because then the person will get spiritual merits and his attitude will also be very good otherwise if bad planets are there then and the lord is exalted then his attitude may be very good but he will find lot of challenges and what if the reverse is happening there are beautiful planets but the lord is debilitated beautiful planets means they will give you opportunities but if the lord is debilitated you will not be able to use those opportunities so there you go dispositor is very important therefore whenever you check the situation of marriage etc do not just see planet sitting in the 7th house check the situation of the 7th lord and also check the situation of the dispositor of the 7th lord for example if somebody is a libra ascendant then mars rules the 7th house and if mars is in the 11th house in the sign of leo we also have to check the situation of the sun because that will also tell how much strong mars is inherently to the degree mars is strong to that degree the seventh house will be strong there you see that is how you have to see and that gets very detail what will happen if this is badly placed or that is badly placed we have to see the entire horoscope 
So that is what I wanted to tell about dispositors and it is very important that we take into account the dispositors. Otherwise, if we just give a prediction that, oh, there are diff difficult planets in your fourth house, then your mother will have a difficult life. But what if she's having a great life? Great life doesn't mean without struggles, without challenges, but what if the fourth lord is well placed? That means even if there are difficulties, the mother will be able to carry on through all the difficulties. But if there are beautiful planets, suppose moon or Venus is situated there, and the lord of that sign, which means the fourth lord is debilitated, then what will happen? The mother may have many opportunities in life, but she will misuse and she will waste all the opportunities. And that happens with so many people. So you will always find people who misuse opportunities, even if they have. And you will also find people who even if they don't have opportunities, they will struggle and they will cross over all the difficulties. So now you understand why both of this happens. There you go. Thank you very much for listening till the end. And if you have any questions, queries or comments regarding dispositors, then please let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, then subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up. And please check the situation of dispositor of every planet. Check the dispositor of Saturn also. Check the dispositor of Mars. Check the dispositor of the Sun. That will give you idea of what flavor is there in the horoscope. Otherwise, you will just give blind predictions. Okay, Venus is debilitated. My God. Difficult relationships. Yeah, the difficulty will be there. But will relationships never improve? No, that will be dependent on the situation of Mercury. And what are also other supportive influences to Venus? If Venus is placed with planets like Jupiter, things can be much great, even if it is debilitated. <laughs> okay, that is it from my side. See you next time. Bye-bye.